Well, with the 197th overall pick, the Atlanta Falcons landed with Zion Logue, excuse me, from the University of Georgia defensive tackle. Congratulations on being drafted by the Atlanta Falcons. How are you feeling right now? Man, I'm blessed. 100% blessed. Um, I can't even put the words, I can't even get the words out of my mouth right now, man. It's just so much emotion that, that I'm running with right now. Um, I'm just blessed, honestly. Who are you? It looks like you're at home right now. So who are you celebrating with? I'm celebrating with my whole village, man. It, I can't even put the names and to faces, but it's so many people that's helped me get to this journey on the, along this journey. Some people help me get to this to this point to this day, and I'm just having fun with my family. All right, I learned a couple uh, a couple minutes ago that you grew up a Tennessee fan, but obviously you went to the University of Georgia. So, what made you choose UGA? Uh, it was a relationship I had with my my defensive line coach, Coach Scott. He came in day one and just set the set the tone for me. And told me how he was going to help my, uh, help my, help me grow and help me grow as a player, as a man. And he did, he did every bit of that in my five years of being at Georgia. So uh, he was a huge help for me. I ask all of the Alabama guys that come through here for a Nick Saban story. And I think I can start asking that with the Georgia guys now, because I feel like everyone has a Kirby Smart story. So what is your Kirby Smart story that you have? Um, my, my Kirby Smart story probably would be my first summer. At, at Georgia, um, we, we were doing something called eight station, four station, and I'm a and I'm a young freshman from Tennessee coming in, and we're we're and being being in the, the Georgia heat in summer, and being out the, our team runs were almost two hours long, and just going out being out there with all the first rounders and not really knowing what I'm coming into, uh, seventeen year old uh, college freshman. Man, Coach Smart, him him on that microphone, man, he, he got real, real live and real, real wordy. But it it was what I needed. I needed to grow up. I needed the I needed the push, and and he definitely did that. I love that everyone has like a story from Kirby Smart and Nick Saban as well. It's incredible. So you are joining a room with Grady Jarrett and David Onyemata, just to name a couple guys. What excites you the most about joining this defensive line group? Man, just getting to learn from those guys. Um, Grady Jarrett, who who I've, who I've watched from afar for a long time, he's trained one of my older teammates, Devontae Wyatt, and just picking and asking Devontae how how he worked and how he went about uh, every his everyday life. Man, Devontae had nothing but good things to say about Grady and David Onyemata. Man, I've, I've been watching him since he was with the Saints. Uh, honor, I mean, just trying to take bits and pieces from his game. Um, like, I, cause I'm a steward of the game and I love to watch it. So being, being able to be in the room with those guys and truly learn from them and learn how to be a pro is, is the number one thing I'm looking forward to. This Falcons front office has brought in, uh, three guys now in this draft class that are going to be on the defensive line. So for you personally, what do you hope to bring to this defensive line? Um, just the energy, the juice. Um, I want to be able to change the room from the time I walk in to the time I leave. So my my everyday the the way I the way I walk the way I talk the way I approach the game the way I approach the building I just want to have fun with it and, and and leave an impact on those guys daily. Well, look, we are so excited to have you. I'm going to let you go back and celebrate with your family. But congratulations on being picked by the Atlanta Falcons. Thank you. Rise up.